One more thing we need to go over that we haven't discussed yet is the need to use comments because when you start getting into complicated uh, websites or style sheets, you're going to find that there are times when you need to leave a comment for yourself or more importantly for the next person that comes along who's got to edit your code. So there's comments that you can add either to the HTML or to the CSS. Let's look at the HTML first. So this area that I've highlighted here that begins with the um, less than exclamation dash dash and then ends with the dash dash greater than everything inside of there is a comment and it will not be rendered by the um, by the browser so uh, this is a good way to get into the habit of uh, leaving yourself notes or leaving other people's notes who may need to later come in and, and work on your code and the same thing applies with uh, CSS so so uh, when you've got a comment with CSS, it begins with a forward slash and a star, and it ends with a star and then a forward slash. So uh, with CSS, with um, HTML, it doesn't matter how many lines it goes on, it's just going to continue. Uh, the same thing happens with a, a multi-line um, comment in your CSS. Whatever line it starts on, you... Uh, have the opening code and everything that is seen until that closing gets commented out and what I often will do if I'm testing a specific uh, CSS rule is I'll just go in and I will comment out that one element and then that element is not interpreted so what I just commented out was the nav item so when I come back over here it's not interpreting that rule. That's just a comment in there. So uh, the, the background color to that not nav item has gone away. So if I take off those opening and closing comment tags and take that, um, that CSS rule out of the comment, it's reapplied. And that is a good way to test an individual piece of code, uh, especially with your CSS, to be able to see what that individual um, element is actually doing. So that's a really useful thing and it's something you absolutely uh, need to know how to do and you'll be expected to uh, use this. Uh, it's just a part of good coding practice and uh, something you need to, to be familiar with and use in your coding.